Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Today is March 12. Uh, I would like to give a recap of yesterday and what the insight and any tips for today. Um, I just want, before I go into talking about yesterday, I just want to give you uh, what happened last year. So March 12, 2020, uh, which I don't know if many people or anybody still remember. So that was actually on Wall Street, uh, worst day of losses in over three decades. The S&P 500, Dow, and Nasdaq companies suffered double-digit declines with the pain European saw 600 and index locking its worst day on record. And really, this is one year chart that point from. So on the 12th, it was this day that well, actually pulling way down. And then, of course, then later on, you know, the discussions and you pull back up and then you down furthermore. Uh, and then we consider that actually, you know, the West skill of stimulus uh, around this time that approved by the U.S. government uh, to bail out, uh, which actually that kind of saved the, you can argue that they saved the financial crisis of 2008. Maybe, you know, uh, Fed was really learning from it, um, which really actually a good job because I think lesson learned is very important. Um, the collapse felt particularly shocking because market had been shuffling off the coronavirus for weeks, even as alarm bells sounded in various corners of the global economy. But sentiment shift abruptly when former President Donald Trump banned travel from most of Europe and the World Health Organization officially declared COVID-19 is a pandemic on March 11. It's been a wild while since then. The crash was short-lifted in financial markets fueled by government stimulus power through a uh, deficit global downturn to end the year at record high and stand with money of disconnect between Wall Street and Main Street. The rise of retail trader who revealed last year's rally continued and bait at the rate as captured by extraordinary GameStop saga and the recent launch of a year ETF. Goldman said predict 7% US GDP growth in 2021, a level not seen since 1984. Fair trade power Chairman Powell said Thursday that inflation would need to be sustained at 2% and the economy which does close to maximum employment before the central bank would consider increasingly interest rate. Again, when you're talking about the curve yield bond, uh, bond return versus the interest rate, interest rate tied to the inflation concern. Um, but at this point, again, Fed was pretty confident that you know we're still at a good shape. The impact of COVID-19 was also very serious in Europe, so we'll see if the market flipped. But uh, pushing this to record high again, I think investors are very pleased, you know, with the result of the last year and how uh, we show how resilient we are and we're at to where we are, you know, looking forward to uh, through, um, through reopening of the economy. Um, so, and also, uh, obviously, uh, vaccine, you know, kind of wild spread all over the world, and uh, we'll see things back to normal. So, with that, I'm quickly to go over market week from yesterday and insight for today. The S&P and Dow hit record highs yesterday led by surge in test stock and using fees about this ordinary rise in the U.S. rate. In recent days, fears that inflation will spiral out of control of use, and data continue to point to an improving economic recovery. Initial jobless claim decreased by 40, 42,000 to 712,000 versus another expectation of 725,000. Facebook, FB, Apple, ABL, Amazon.com, AMZN, Netflix, NFLX, and Google GOG reversed previous day decline. Semiconductor regained momentum rose more than 4%. Tesla stock was down 23% year to day, rose, and reclaimed the loss yesterday. Robots soar for a second strict day following its Wednesday direct list day. Kevin Woods ARK review it bought more than 500,000 shares of gay gaming platform stock. In addition, Korea-based Coping LLC, symbol CPNG, the e-commerce company which was backing from China SoftBank, priced at $35 a share and closed at $49.25. Silicon and energy stock also went up high. On top of treasury auction went well. President Biden 1.9 trillion was signed into law yesterday. Some people can expect to receive 1400 as early as this coming weekend. Oil prices gained. West Texas in the media crew all rose as much as 2.75% to $66.21 per barrel. But gold slipped slightly and US dollar was weakened against growth of 20 currency peers yesterday. European Central Bank announced plan to purchase bond as significant 
significantly higher pace over the next quarter. UK GDP came in better than expected. Desk index is down, but FTSE, which is UK uh, index, is up. The Asian market will make mix with Japan Nikkei up modestly. China imposed fine to 12 companies for antitrust issues, which include Baidu and Tencent. <laughs> US um, Dow Jones Industrial Average is green, but Nasdaq and S&P 500 is wet right now, giving stimulus drive yield curves higher. Consumer sentiment for March is expected to inch up and will be released at 10 a.m. Eastern time today. This can further drive the market up um, on the outside probably, and flood hopefully in Nasdaq. We'll see if the market sounds favorable. When Bush said in a note, why is a buckle the seat belt from time from test stock? We believe this sell-off has created a golden opportunity for investors to own a secular tech winner for the next three to five years. The firm outlined that FANG Cloud Cyber Security 5G and official intelligence stock to lead the charge higher, underpinned by the growing digital transformation trend. Um, in my opinion, the market will remain volatile in the near term, especially against the backdrop of high yields. Okay, so um, you know you really have to look at the FANG very carefully to look at the deep um, to find a good sun, um, you know, buy point. But I always teach you that fifteen to twenty percent discount is where I would look start looking to buy. You know, five percent. I mean, you know, because wow, you must have got to understand wow. The index and the stock can climb up pretty quickly. It is doing the same for the other side, which means you can drop very quickly as well. And I'm pretty sure investors who are inexperienced, experienced young investors now, experienced, you know, a week ago for that tanking on two days, significant drop, a Nasdaq drop 10%, which told you the story, right? You probably look at what you have gained there for a month of February, really quick momentum, and you lost them, them all of them in a few days. So um, again, be very careful about the market. Um, you know, finding something silico stock would still be good to buy. Somebody asked me about bowling, and and I I was at the time tell people to drop uh to to sell around two twenty because of the concern with Jet seven seven seven. It seems to be no issue, and uh, United Airlines were ordering more seven three seven from bowling, and they got a contract uh, defense contract from government, and they. Um, they also continue. I mean, they really at the bottom, you know, uh, rebounding from the bottom, you know, from the operational perspective. So the stock have been doing pretty great. I think, you know, while I'm saying three hundred dollars for the target, I think you you guys can watch till April and maybe you push a little more with Dow continue have momentum. Then you may, Dow Jones Industrial Average. Then you may reach two hundred seventy. I think that would be a good um. Selling point, you know, before you reach three hundred dollars and buy back, because I always value time is matter. Also, the Chinese stock for those who hold the Chinese stock, you may have to be careful. Um, if you still make a profit doing well, you may want to sell them right now. Uh, well, not right now, but maybe later. Um, one of the reason for that is I think today market may be down with with the stock with the high test stock in China that actually um were being fined and this is again antitrust issue the Chinese were being focused. Um uh and but then you know Biden will have a meeting with China China at some point. Um I don't this week or next well, next week. So um that properly there will be speculation about the topics and discussions and the relationship between China and US. So maybe um the stock market actually may be optimistic will be you know lifting up and down during the time for in, in Asia but but I really think, you know, depending on the outcome of the discussion, um, you could go up, you know, you could rebound because I think Asian market have been slipping with uh, with the warning of a uh, Chinese um, bank, you know, bank um, or analyst saying that, you know, U.S. could be bubble, you know, the, the high, there's tax, high valuation. So um, there's one of the strategies maybe Chinese were doing as well. Uh, you do see some Zheng Index and Shanghai Compensate last year have been really reaching very high. So um, sometimes, you know, they want to learn from financial 2008 crisis as well that they want everything to hit too hot at this point to drive um, the unintended consequences, I recall. Um, so something to think about. But in the long run, though, I do believe normally um, after summer, second, you know, third quarter, actually China will get actually get stronger. 
Um, so for just Chinese stock, you may you may have to hold the end of the year. Um, so if people really short term, then again, just take my advice. Look at where you are position wise. Uh, Baidu is actually going to issue stock um, um, in uh, Hong Kong Hong Kong um, exchange. So they the prices um, is set up to be two hundred ninety five dollars. Just I want everybody to know about that. What that meant is. If you look at Baidu, which have 355, the highest, and slip it to 260, 50, 250 some dollars due to the, um, you know, due to the reason, reason sell off, and it kind of pick it up, rebound a little bit um, in the last two days as well. Um, so the chances that Baidu in U.S. stock market may go up in about 295 dollars, right? The two scenario, or you mean once Hong Kong IPO was actually issue. The IPO price actually will drop lower <laughs> to to two ninety five, so people will not make money on the IPO in Hong Kong. But but you know because a lot of time that is very close to one to one relationship, just like uh, Baba. So Hong Kong have a Baba stock. If you if very good relevance in comparison, if you look at that, um, you will find out that there's about seven to ten dollars. It's always seventy to ten dollars spread between Hong Kong stock and US. And US is seven to ten dollars more on top of that price. Okay, so that helps you to really good to indication of how things go. Um, you know, for benchmarking purposes, Tencent was the same thing. You can look at Hong Kong stock market predict what's the next day gonna look like in US stock market when you open. Um, and also uh, and also the the um the the EV vehicle by by day by by day the same thing. All right. Um. Hopefully, everybody will have a great and nice Friday. We will we'll watch closely today with the good news expected that announced at 10 a.m. Eastern time, which is you know, which is the the consumer sentiment. I I hope that um the market actually will pick it up and rebound on Nasdaq as well. Uh. But again, it's normal that you have been positive for quite a few days. Um. You know, with the with the notion of direction, Nasdaq have reverse from the 10 percent drop. So it. It's probably natural if today was down and we'll look for Monday. Hopefully Monday will be a strong day again. Have a wonderful weekend.